Guardian Unlimited. Oh. Welcome to The Heckle, The Guardian's daily comedy podcast from the Edinburgh Fringe. My name's Brian Logan. It is, and my name is Lucy Porter. And we are going to be your guides throughout the festival. Oh yes, every weekday for the whole three weeks. We'll be bringing you top names in comedy, discovering new up-and-coming talent, and bringing you sights, smells, and primarily sounds of the Fringe <laughs> experience. From Monday to Thursday, we're going to bring you ten minutes of clips of the best shows we've seen, along with interviews and features. And then on Friday, I'll be rounding up the week's events in the studio with a panel of guests. So in today's show, which comes to you from the legendary fringe venue, the Assembly Rooms, you can expect a bit of this. <laughs> Some of this. I have declared myself the greatest artist of the century. <laughs> and a smattering of that. Come here! So Lucy, you've got a show up here called Lucy Porter's Loving. Mm-hmm. You've done a few shows so far, how's it going? It's been lovely, thank you very much. It's, it's a proper loving. What have you been up to? Because you're officially a Guardian person. You've been sent here to look at shows and that. You've got a relentless schedule, I believe. What's been your favourite thing? I'm favorite uh, things? working according to the idea that I should see 26 shows a day. <laughs> yes. And I've seen a few shows that I've enjoyed so mm-hmm. far. I've seen the Amsterdam Underground Comedy Collective, which mm-hmm. I thought was very exciting. Yep. So Stuart Lee, which I liked. Always good. And actually, on the first night I came up here, I saw Paul Sinha. Now, for those of you that don't know anything about me, I am a qualified doctor and an openly gay Asian comic. Feeling that huge chasm <laughs> in the world of gay Asian comedy left by the untimely death of Bernard Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> So what's Paul's show about, Brian? His show's about the moments where he, and by implication us, Mm -hmm. uh, feels like he's on top of the world. So Uh. those moments of uh, euphoria or epiphany when suddenly life seems to come together. Mm -hmm. And he also spins a story out of a time when he was on a quiz show, when he was a 20-year-old student. Uh. Now it was very close all the way through, and as luck would have it, the deciding question fell to me. And the presenter said, which Central American country has the Quetzal as both its national bird and currents. And there was a hushed silence throughout the audience. Much like there is back in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> a silence I'd like to punch by asking, does anybody here know the answer? Any guesses? Guatemala. Guatemala. Interesting guess. Anyone else? Panama. Costa Rica. No, that's a Costa Rican colon. Your ignorance sickens me. Panama. <laughs> Panama, unlucky. Uh, their national bird is the harpy eagle, and their currency is the balboa, named after a Spanish explorer and not a fictional boxer. You, <laughs> sir, fuck you, you got it right. That was Paul Sinha there, who is a doctor and did once successfully diagnose me with an arthritic knee. Anyway, also with us for the heckle is the Guardian's Pascal Wise. Lovely Pascal. He arrived yesterday and we sent him straight onto the streets. Come here! You've barely stepped off the train in Edinburgh and some unicycling nun has thrust a flyer in your hand demanding that you attend a show in some dilapidated church hall at four in the morning. Flyers are the street currency here in Edinburgh, so come on artists, sell me your show. Hi, my show is called Songs About Vaginas and it is a show that will make you laugh and cry and learn as a human being and grow. What are you selling there? What are you life-changing selling? comedy. Okay, how's Free. it going to change my life? Well, it's not necessarily for the better, but it will change your life. You'll be an hour older, an hour wiser, you'll learn a lot about me. We have set ourselves an impossible task to build the city in 60 minutes. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, uh, The Tale of Rampant Rabbit. It's about sort of sexual stereotypes, uh, vibrator culture, uh, new self made woman, sexual liberation going on because of this fabulous thing called The Rampant Rabbit. We've got singing, we've got dancing, we've got stand up um, comedy. comedy, we've got uh, chainsaws and a severed head from my act. Do you find it quite difficult? I mean, how many of these do you get rid of in a day? So far, I think we're trying to do sort of four or five hundred a day. Hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah, we, we got 10,000. We do everything from sticking our heads in buckets of water to rhyming and singing. You will love it, I absolutely promise you. The Heckle! I actually was at a gig once, I regularly take my clothes off on stage. One night someone decided to steal those clothes whilst I was singing a song and I had to uh, literally walk home in my undies. So yes, we have called our podcast The Heckle and 
you know, Brian, obviously you've been to a lot of comedy. Do you think that heckling gets in the way of a show or does it enhance your enjoyment? I think it enhances your enjoyment. <laughs> it's what makes live stand-up interesting and difficult. It's, exactly, it's a, it's a live art form. I, I think people should heckle in theatre and classical music as well. It's <laughs> yeah. one of the things that makes comedy fun is that, that you know you have a chance to interact with this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just well, yeah. remind everyone that it's spontaneous. Rather than doing what you do and writing up a review and having to wait for it to get printed, it is a sort of instant review, isn't it? It's Absolutely. Like, you know, your shit or this is great. While there are all kinds of events at the Edinburgh Fringe, we sent Lucy to the Institute of Zoologic on Queen Street to meet the veteran fringe comic Arthur Smith, who's hung up his microphone, donned the artist's smock, taken up his easel and brought along his can of formaldehyde. I'm here with Arthur Smith at uh, the gallery opening of uh, your new gallery. There's no need to snigger at the idea of my gallery <laughs> opening, Lucy. <laughs> no, there is. Good idea. You know, you know, this is a, it's a new <laughs> departure for you, isn't it? You're a stand-up comedian, raconteur. I'm an artist, and... despite having no capability to sculpt, paint, draw or anything. I have declared myself the greatest artist of the century. <laughs> you know, and that's you... how you do it. It's all PR, you see. Absolutely. I'm also inviting guest comedians, and I'm hoping that you too are going to be producing a work, Lucy. Well, I'm hoping to be inspired by the things that I see in the gallery, and then I will... Uh, I'll definitely, yeah. Then uh, follow me, Lucy, and we'll indulge the art. <laughs> this yeah. is the master's desk where I uh, work. Yes, you've got your uh, sort of book of press cuttings. <laughs> and, sort of. Uh, the cunt colouring book. <laughs> yeah, but no one's filled any in yet. any of those in? OK. No, uh, I keep meaning to pay some acolyte to do it. Well, maybe I could make that my artwork, is colouring in the labia. Yeah, you could probably be better at it. Now, uh, we'll, we'll head down a bit. There was a pregnancy testing kit. Oh, oh that's Shappy. Shappy called Shandy, who is, she's about seven months pregnant. Yeah, seven and this is, the sense, is the first portrait of her child. Beautiful, on a black background with the two blue lines in the clear blue pregnancy test, not that I'm familiar with them. Uh, it's <laughs> clearly, uh, clearly visible there. No? And can we talk a little bit about the video installation? Oh well? yeah, yeah, the video is... installation here. Happy yeah. slapping. Which is basically a video of you going around slapping people in the face and them looking deliriously happy about it. Them looking deliriously happy, yeah. yeah. You see, I've introduced a happy back into happy slapping. <laughs> These visitors' books, you see, uh, are very interesting. This one, it's been stolen. <laughs> I'm interested in the fragmentary nature of the narrative of um, visitors' books. Yes. I like this one. This was uh, on the 3rd of the 10th, 2004. Someone, Alan, wrote, Ironing board was dangerous. Apart from that, <laughs> myself and my children really enjoyed the stay. <laughs> well, let's head down. We're nearly at the end. There's a shop at the end, of course. Yeah, no, I would like to what the merchandise is because I glanced on the way in but one of the great yeah. things is my own clothing line here. Yes. The old Smith Bespoke Originals clothing line. As bows, yeah. <laughs> and it's basically my old t-shirts packaged up and sold at an extortionate price. And can you buy everything in the gallery? Is everything Yeah, is everything is for sale. And I hope someone buys something because it's cost me a bloody fortune <laughs> in the end. Have you got other comedians who've been commissioned to produce work? Oh, yeah, there? we've got more coming. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, everyone's a frustrant. You know, we've all yeah. done silly dolls, and providing there's no real selection process, shall we say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which there is. No. <laughs> if you've done it, it's in. OK, you know, yeah. We don't believe in the tyranny of uh, judgment. No, no, no. Well, as a, you know, as a curatorial approach, I think it's quite refreshing. Well, it's know. a great big house. There's plenty of room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think it's comedy art? A lot of conceptual artists, particularly, are seeking a laugh, but a bit too scared to yeah. really go for it. Yeah. And I think you'll find a way it's summed up by this piece here, which is called Good Point. Yeah. This is one of your own works, is it? Yeah, and it says, yeah, but let's see Damon Hurst do 10 minutes down the comedy store. <laughs> and I've misspelled Damon. Deliberately, that'll annoy him even more. Absolutely. <laughs> if he can get 20 million quid for that sort of stuff, oh, that'll be him now on the there phone. There you go, excellent. Well, we'll leave you then. <laughs> yeah, all right. Cheers, lovely. <laughs> See you later. Hello, Damon. I'm sorry, mate. So that was the first heckle, it was short but hopefully sweet. Um, tomorrow we've got Phil Jupiter and Andre Vincent talking about mistaken identity and I go to the pub with a gaggle of Aussies, I think that's the correct collective term. I think it is. <laughs> now you must send us your best heckles, if you can think of them, and send those to podcasts at guardian.co.uk or post a message on the blog page. 
And don't forget to check out our extensive coverage of the various Edinburgh festivals, both online and in the paper. There are daily reviews, blogging from our team here in Edinburgh, Mark Ravenhill's Daily Play, and Comedy Consequences, where comedians compete with each other to deliver the weirdest and longest shaggy dog story you've ever heard. That's at guardian.co.uk slash Edinburgh. Until tomorrow. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Guardian Unlimited.